system in education system the biggest problem is one human being coming and telling and another human being how many times i should tell you still you have not understood that that the worst thing in an education system having three sections now it have a load okay this is what line of action and along this line of action there are forces what forces say this is 10 kilo newton this is 50 kilo newton this is 80 kilo newton kilo Newton and this is 20 kilo Newton where length is given as this is 600 mm this is 1000 mm and this is 1200 mm Here area is having common area that is thousand mm square as well as E is one point zero five into ten power five Newton per mm square. This is a figure given and question is asking find the contraction okay that is basically the change in length question is asking the change in length that is delta l right so how can we find in such kind of question see earlier what it was there was only one force but now we have not one force we have one two three and four forces in this condition how we should be proceeding so i'll make you understand that how we go for it so whenever such question is given the first thing what you have to do is first separate the sections there are three sections so i'll separate these three sections section one section two and section three watch very carefully what i'm doing what you have to do is step one what i have done is i've separated the section there was this whole one section is a combination of three sections so what I have done is I have separated each section and after separating each section take the extreme values which are extreme values 10 kilo Newton and 50 kilo Newton so put as it is 10 kilo Newton it is compressive so put as it is 10 kilo Newton here it is 50 kilo Newton it is what tensile keep as it is 50 kilo Newton say so this is body 1 2 3 body 1 2 3 you can see here what I am done is fifty kilo Newton it is what it is in tensile section right or not 
here it is 10 kilo Newton it is compressive this is first you have to do is now what you are going to do is if this is 50 if one side of a body is tensile then opposite side of the body will be also tensile with how much with same 50 kilo Newton correct similarly in the third case if one side is compressive the other side is going to be compressive by how much by same that is 10 kilo Newton now second before we put the value of 80 and 20 what we have to do is whatever we got this is a 1 and 2 this is the border so there should be equal and opposite reaction so this is the equal and opposite reaction of how much 50 kilo Newton similarly here there should be a equal and opposite reaction so this should be how much this should be 10 kilo Newton correct because equal and opposite means what it should be this and this so if you see here the first one it satisfy this and the second one it satisfy this and this clear now after putting this put the remaining that is 80 kilo Newton where it is acting in the border of 1 to 2 where it is going towards the center of 2 so this is 2 and here 80 kilo Newton is going towards the center how much 80 kilo Newton similarly this is the case here 20 kilo Newton is also going towards the center so this is 20 kilo Newton clear now what we see here is the first case in the first case load in the first case is how much 50 it is tensile so it is positive now load in the third case what it is 10 10 but it is in compressive so this will be minus 10 kilo Newton now coming to 2 if you see here this is 50 which is tensile this 50 if you see this is tensile that is plus 50 this 80 if you see this is compressive this is minus 80 plus 50 minus 80 will be how much minus 30 this is on this border now whatever we get in this border the same should be over this border so here if you see 10 is compressive 20 is also compressive how much minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 so here also you get it 30 that is p2 is equal to minus 30 kilo Newton I hope this is clear to all that is load in each section will be different and how we are going to take is by this particular method I hope this is clear to everyone so when we have found the load for individual now we can go for finding the load that is extension on each that is extension on one will be what P1 L1 by A1 into e because e is common to all so here it will be 50 into 10 power 3 l1 is how much 600 mm 600 a1 is 1000 a is also common to all and this e is 1.05 into 105 1.05 into 10 power 5 similarly change in length in the second will be what p2 l2 by a2 e2 that is a2, a2 and e2 are both same again so p2 is how much here minus 30 so this should be minus 30 into 10 to the power 3 length is 1000 divided by 1000 divided by into 1.05 into 10 to the power 5 because these are common to all similarly change in length for 3 that is p3 l3 by a3 e3 so p3 is how much here minus so I'll put it 10 into 10 to the power 3 into length is how much 1200 1200 divided by 1000 into 1.05 
into 10 power 5. So from first case, what will be the change in length? The change in length for the first case is 0 0.287, whereas in the second case, it is minus 0 0.287. Whereas in the third case, there also is a minus, so minus 0.1143. Therefore, therefore, the total change will be what? 0 0.287 minus 0.2857 and minus 1143. So when we do this, we come across minus 0. 1143 mm. So it means what? It means there will be a decrease in length. By how much? By 0 0.1143 mm. Right? So this is how we go for a body which is subjected to different kind of forces. I hope this is clear to everyone. Download our revolutionary app for free AMC.